dear student in this topic the conditional distribution of case 2 so what is the case 2 now look at this we find the distribution of x1 x2 given x3 now here is the x1 x2 when means given here is the x3 so is case mein hamare paas distribution kya aa rahi hai uske mean and variances humne check karne hain when we have the x1 x2 given x3 to find the required distribution we find expected value of x1 given x3 and the variance of x1 given x3 where x1 transpose where x1 which is equal to the x1 x2 so this is the expected value of x1 given x3 and this is the variance of the expected value of x1 given x3 sabse pehle define x x kiske equal hai which is equal to x1 x2 when given x3 partition matrix partition kar liye humne x1 x2 given x3 so let is factor ko humne keh liya x1 and this factor hamare paas hai x3 dekha x3 as it is hai x1 x2 ko humne x1 vector se donate ki notation hai uski so mu which is equals to mu1 mu2 and then mu3 so is factor ko humne keh diya mu1 and remaining hamare paas hai this is the mu3 variance covariance matrix ki partition iski partition kaise ho rahi hai 1 2 One two terms alike and given x three. So this is one two given x three. This is the partition matrix. So this factor, which is equal to sigma one one, this is the sigma one two, this sigma two one, and this is as it is. Q as it is, because this vector is not form. And this is our partition sigma three three. Remaining our partition is what the vector is. so find the expected value of x1 given x3 so expected value of x1 given x3 ka formula aapke paas kya hai this is mu1 plus this ab sari values aapke paas hain ab ye values jo hai main yahan pe put in kar rahi hu mu1 mu2 then these values ye values humne enter kiye enter karne ke baad aap dekh rahe ho ki simplification ho rahi hai now look at this correlation this is the row and row kya hai this is the population correlation coefficient row which is equals to by definition row which is equals to covariance if it is xy so covariance of xy divided by variance of x square root and the variance of y square root this is the by definition of the correlation coefficient so covariance this is x y general term covariance covariance ki notation sigma x y sigma x square this is the variance of x this is the variance of y ab basically hame kiski value chahiye covariance sigma x y to sigma x y ki jo value chahiye hogi to aapke paas divide mein jo term hai wo multiply hogi correlation se yahan dekho aapke paas kya hai sigma 1 3 this is the covariance 1 and 3 to ab covariance ko humne yahan se kaise likha yahan se aap dekho sigma correlation 1 3 which is equals to covariance of 1 3 here the variance of 1 1 1 2 2 theek hai this is the variance 1 1 2 2 a further सिग्मा वन थ्री यानी को वेरियंस ऑफ वन थ्री की वैल्यू चाहिए ये फैक्टर इसके साथ मल्टीप्लाई होगा तो सिमिलरली ये फैक्टर हमने यहाँ पे कोरिलेशन कैसे कोरिलेशन बनी है को वेरियंस की जगह हमने कोरिलेशन की वैल्यू सेंटर कर दी है और सिग्मा थ्री स्क्र सिग्मा थ्री स्क्र इन साइड ब्रैकेट आ गया अब सिमिलरली ये सिग्मा टू टू दिस इज दी को वेरियंस है को वेरियंस को कोरिलेशन में कैसे कन्वर्ट किया है सिमिलरली इसी मैथड से हमने को वेरियंस को कोरिलेशन में कन्वर्ट किया आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन गिवन एक्स थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू दिस नाउ फाइंड द वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स वन गिवन एक्स थ्री दिस इज दर्नल 
variance of x1 given x3, variance of x sigma 1 1, we know that which is equals to this one. So, you can write it sigma 1 square which is equals to sigma 1 1. These are the covariance and this is the sigma 2 square. So, sigma 2 square which is equals to sigma 2 2. After simplification, results are here. We have here. We have here. We have Sigma 2 3. Now, sigma 2 3, sigma 1 3. This is further correlation. We have correlation. We have converted the correlation. We have converted the correlation. We have converted the correlation. We have converted So, after converting the correlation coefficient, then the variance of x1 given x3, which is equal to this. Further, variance of x1 given x3, this is 2 cross 2 ki matrix. Hai. So, the distribution of x1, x2 given x3 is a bivariate normal. x1, x2 ki distribution given x3 ki distribution kisko follow kar hai? This is the bivariate normal with mean vector and the variance covariance matrix is given as. This is the mean vector and this is the variance covariance matrix. Kis ki? Bivariate normal distribution ki. So finally, this is the correlation. Partial correlation 1, 2, dot 3. This is the partial correlation. Partial correlation ka further paas kya hai? This is the covariance over variance square root. Further, sigma 1, 3, dot 3. Sigma 1, 3, dot 3 kya hai? Covariance. Covariance hamare paas. These are the covariances. Covariance ki value humne enter ki. And the aapke paas diagonal element. The diagonal element hamare paas kya hote hai? Basically, these are the variances. So, humne then variances ki value enter kar di. After simplification, the partial correlation of correlation 1, 2, dot 3, which is equals to this. So, this is what you have further, we have conditional distribution follows career. Bivariate normal distribution, we have mean variance, we have seen further partial, partial correlation coefficients. Bhi humne check